One of the seniors from the other department of my institute asked me to collaborate in building a high precision single axis linear motion stage. So the carriage of the stage will move approximately 1 meter but its position has to be precise at each to and fro movement. The parts which we need are Arduino Uno as the brain of the whole system, potentiometer which is 10k to control the speed of the movement, NEMA 17 stepper motor and this IR sensor modules. And finally which we will need a motor driver, NEMA 17 motor driver to control the movement of the NEMA 17 motor. This is actually a single axis linear stage which I built using old printer and it uses a photo receiver and a laser to understand at which position the carriage is. We know the light intensity reduces at, as the distance from the source increases and this photodiode actually measures the intensity of the light. So the farther the carriage is from the photodiode, the lesser intensity it will receive and the nearer it to the photodiode, it will receive more intensity. So at a particular intensity, the motor actually stops here we are using a DC motor which is not actually very much accurate. To increase the accuracy we are going to use NEMA motor, NEMA 70 motor. We are using a infrared receiver module or it is also called infrared proximity sensor. It consists of infrared emitter or infrared LED and a infrared receiver. So when an object is nearer to the proximity sensor then the infrared receiver will receive more intense infrared light as it reflects back from the surface of the body. So if the carriage comes very near to the edge of the platform then the infrared receiver will tell the microcontroller that the carriage is nearer to the end and the motor direction will actually change from clockwise to anti-clockwise. This is a way to keep the carriage falling out of the track. So the circuit diagram, the yellow wire goes to the directional plus 5 volt from the Arduino. It is used to control the direction of the stepper motor. The green wire goes to the pull plus 5 volt. This is whether the stepper motor will run or will get stopped by the motor driver. And the ash type of wire goes to the ground pin. From the ground pin, the, uh, the enable minus, enable plus and also the directional minus they are all shorted together using the blue wires and it goes to the ground voltage like uh, VCC and ground below so you can uh, supply from 9 volt to 42 volt here I am supplying only 12 volts and it is working perfectly the B minus B plus A minus A plus this all goes to the stepper motor these are actually the coils you need to find the continuity and then connect it. so if you connect uh, wrongly the stepper motor will either not work or will just make some sound so change the polarity to find out whether it is working or not another thing is like you need to select the micro step properly so there are switches given at the side you need to adjust the switch to have the correct micro step the first three switches tells us about the micro step the motor driver will give the motor so here I am using off on off configuration which is 1600 micro step per revolution and similarly the current which I am supplying is very less hence I am using 
on off on configuration which means that my power supply will deliver only from 1 amps to 1.2 amps only so if you have a high powerful power supply you can choose the other current configuration also Please note that if your pulse timing or from the microcontroller or the signal pulse signal from the microcontroller doesn't match with the micro step you have configured in the micro step driver in the motor driver then it the motor will just start making some sound and it will get hot and it will not run properly or it will stop and just make a sound. So here in the programming I have changed the amount of speed for clockwise and the anti-clockwise motion. So clockwise rotation and anti-clockwise rotation has different speed. So when I am so each sensor so if I put hand in front of one sensor it will rotate the opposite direction and its speed is changed and if I put the hand in front of other sensor the again the rotation will change and also the speed will change. This is just to show that the detector or the whole setup can actually detect obstacles. Here the, my hand represents obstacles. So yes, it can uh, switch over from clockwise to anti-clockwise and also switch over from different speeds. So you can finally adjust the speed with a potentiometer also. So that is for now, if you like the video please like, share and subscribe and welcome to Science in a Park.